Hi, uh, in this property business, there are so many lessons to be learned. And I was asked recently, what's the greatest lesson you've learned in property? And I must confess, I was stumped at first. My name is Neil Forster from Organic Growth. I'm a property coach. And um, if you want details about our coaching, I'll, I'll leave a link below. Um, but let's get straight into the, to what I want to speak about today. Um, you know, when you, when you start a journey, any journey, you start, the most important step is your first one. Because if you haven't taken that first step, you're not on the, not on the journey. So I, it got me thinking, what is the most important lesson I've learned in property? About 25, 28 years ago, I bought a house. And I had two daughters who were young. They were sort of age three and four, uh, going to, to creches and nursery schools. And I bought this house, and the back of the house had a, um, an old-fashioned maid's room and two, two garages that were kind of one behind the other. It wasn't very useful at all in terms of garage space. Um, and I thought, let me turn this into a cottage. And uh, I spent, I remember spending 15,000 Rand, um, which doesn't sound like a lot now, but in those days it was quite a lot. It's probably equivalent to about 150,000 Rand today in terms of what it felt like. So I spent 15,000 Rand and I converted these, there was a double garage, there were tandem garages and the old fashioned maid's room and, and the old fashioned toilet that was there and I redid it, put a proper, I turned the maid's room into a kitchen and I turned the, the toilet into, I extended it and made it a toilet, basin, shower. And then I turned the, the one garage into a lounge and the other single garage into a bedroom. And it made a very nice little cottage with a bedroom, um, a lounge and a separate kitchen and a, a bathroom. And I rented it out. And it, I must confess it was a bit of an experiment at the time. And you know, I just thought it makes sense. Let me try this. And wow, was I surprised. What, what happened was uh, I, I rented it out and I seem to recall the rental was about a thousand rand, but the, the amount is not that relevant. What is relevant that it, it, was, it equaled the nursery school fees for both my daughters. And then I realized, hang on a second, the rental from the cottage is paying the school fees for my daughters. And then they went to school and I found that the rental had gone up and then I was still paying the school fees. And I realized that, hang on, that 15,000 Rand I've spent is actually going to pay schooling for two children right throughout school if they stayed at, at government schools, which things changed. But, but should they have stayed at government schools, that 15,000 Rand spent when my children were sort of three and four years old would have paid for their schooling right through school. And that, what that did is it really opened my eyes to, to this concept of, it's called an annuity income. In other words, income that comes in every month, even when you're sleeping. This is, this is money working for you. And, and that's, that's the greatest lesson I learned, was how powerful it was. I could, I could invest some money and that investment would pay out hugely um, for the years to come. It kept on going, it kept on growing and it kept on coming. And yes, over time there were one or two months where there was no tenant and very occasionally there were some repairs. But overall, the, the lesson I learned was amazing. This concept of annuity income. So uh, I hope this, this video helped you. And if you want to know more about annuity income and uh, I've written extensively about this in, on, on our website and our blog. Please, I invite you to go and have a look at our blog. And uh, I'll leave links below to our website. And, and also, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit that notifications bell. Because what will happen is whenever I put up videos like this, you'll be notified. And then you can keep up to date with, uh, with various property trends that we share and coaching tips and investment tips. And so thank you for watching this video. Consider sharing it with a friend who might find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.